Hey guys, Gary here from RV Living Life. Today we're going to take our water softener from outside and we're going to mount it inside. And the reason I'm doing this is when you're on the move, you're traveling several days in a row, taking the water softener out and putting it back in is a bit of work, so I want to simplify things. We're going to attach it to the wall in here. We're also going to put some quick connects on it so we can pull it out when we need to and uh, you know flush it out and then put it back in. I've decided what I'm going to do is on the wall there's that blue canister there. That is our whole house filter. I'm just going to remove that. We don't need that. I'm just going to use a small Camco filter on the outside spigot and uh, filter the, the granular parts out of the water before it gets to the water softener. So I removed the water uh, filter there and now I'm going to remove the hardware that held it in place as well as the temperature thermostat at the bottom there that was for floor heat for the, or basement heat. So that's all out of the way. Just going to move the bottle into place, see how it fits. I've got a bunch of different connections here. I'm just playing around with different options to figure out what I want to do. And what I decided to do was to move the hoses that are coming through the wall up near the top. So I drilled some larger holes up there and uh, what I'm putting up there is two faucets and these faucets have on off switches. You know, you can turn them and shut them off. And also on the bottle itself, I'm gonna put uh, on off switches so you can isolate the water, um, you know, so that you can take it away without, you know, having water flying all over the place. So you can see the two faucets are mounted up there now. And I've got it in a pretty good position. I'm just looking for some screws here to um, mount the faucets to the wall. And I'm also looking for my hose Okay, I'm going to interrupt the video for a sec. Let's do that water test I was talking about. We were originally at a hardness of 15 before we started this. And quite quickly we went to a hardness of zero, which is fantastic. The water softener was working great. One, two, three. And now we've run a thousand gallons of water through the system. And we are still at zero. I don't know how well that shows on there. We're at the first one, zero. Might be this one here, but I still think it's the first one. So at a thousand gallons of water, we're still good. Okay, back to the video. I wanna show you that I bought some really uh, high quality stainless steel hoses for this purpose. And um, you know, those hoses are quite flexible. So I should be able to just set the bottle in front of it and use these two hoses to connect in between the bottle itself and the faucets on the wall. So let's get all that in place. You can see now I have the two hoses connected to the faucets. And now that I have them lined up the way I want, I'm just gonna put the screws through the face plates and hold those faucets onto the wall securely. Okay. Cut that against the wall. Quick connects are on. Okay, we are all connected. I like this setup much better than the first setup I had. There's no strain on these lines now, they're nice and relaxed. So let's bring the water in. Okay, just open the water up to here, it's good. No leaks. Okay, now it's going into the bottle. Back up this line and into the coach. Awesome. So now you need some sort of a strap to hold this in place. Let's figure that out. Okay, so I have this strap. It's just laying around. I put it through a couple of holes in the wall that were there. And just look it around the neck of the bottle. It doesn't have to be overly tight. Just want to keep it from falling over. There we go. It is definitely secured there. It's just gonna sit there. Any bumps it's gonna go over, it'll just shake out. And it looks like this project is done. Perfect. That's Gary from RV Living Life. Please like and subscribe, give us a few comments, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care everyone. Bye now.